Hi, I'm Larry Hintz, Executive Director for Business Development for the Prince George's County Economic Development Corporation. I'm also the host of Business Spotlight. Here today, we're going to meet Trinity Cyber. Steve Ryan is the CEO, and they are a cybersecurity company. Come on, let's go learn something. Steve, yeah. thank you. Thank you for having me here today. It's my today. pleasure. Thanks for, all right. um, thanks for doing this. First of all, I love your office. Thanks. <laughs> this thanks. is really a wonderful place. Thanks. Every piece is a reflection of me, and, and it's home. I want to know, first and foremost, tell me why and how you got started in the cybersecurity business. Yeah. I started at NSA, National Security Agency, yes. in the mid-80s. Right? sure you can tell me uh, about Back this. then I couldn't. Today I can. <laughs> um, I started working in an organization at NSA that made custom integrated circuits. And um, I fell in love with it. And I, um, I, got, I think I got pretty good at it. And the kinds of stuff that I would that I had to design were were intentional designs to take an existing communication system and um, and make it better in some in some dimension. Yes. And I did that for about 15, 16 years. Well. Wow. And and by the time I left, I was the chief. I was the boss of yes. that of that organization. So I left that work. Uh, at, you know, I was still at NSA. And, and got into a program that allowed me to, to do a, uh, a three-year field of study in well, networking. Okay. And the National Security Agency was creating a new organization uh, called uh, uh, Defensive Network Operations. Okay. You know, everybody, you know, gathering, picking the experts, sending a flyaway team, you know, fixing the network, getting it back up and running, and, and, and then getting ready for the next incident. That kind of operations gets in your blood. I mm. mean, you either you either it either gets in your blood or you hate it or mm -hmm. you hate it, uh, and it and it got in my blood. Got so, in your blood. So this is the evolution of the response to would be current and future threats. That's exactly right. This was right around the time that the term cybersecurity was was becoming a thing. Okay. Prior to that, we were just calling it network defense or network defense operations. Right. But what we had was what we had was a, a director at NSA who saw that um, we were largely responding to incidents, mm -hmm. and and what he wanted to do was pull together under one roof uh, the people at NSA responsible for studying the cyber adversaries out there. Wow! Yeah. So, if my memory serves me well, you were in the NSA for about thirty-two years. Yep, thirty-two years. 32 years of this and success in this, why did you decide to do Trinity Cybersecurity? Well, um, because I was watching on the sidelines. Ah. So we were doing great stuff in protecting the DOD. Yes. But um, you can't protect the private industry and, and work for the National Security Agency. Okay, right? right. In the cybersecurity ecosystem, it's really focused on incident response. We gather information, we share that information out, and you know, hey, you just got hacked last week, and so we'll take those indicators and protect everyone else from that you know, thing. It's an impossible task. From a scale standpoint, there are far fewer bad guys than there are things to protect. Why not take an approach that focuses on them and stopping them? It, so this is looking so, at the problem from the source. Turning it around. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was the thing for in creating the company. If we could um, solve the, the big technical problem, and that big technical problem was really around being able to uh, achieve depth of inspection and speed at the same time. Mm -hmm. We're the only ones that have cracked this knot. With everyone else, it's one or the other. If you want a deep forensics view right. of what's going on in your network, mm -hmm. you got to grab a snapshot, pull it over here, and get that deep forensics view. It might take days. If you want speed to deal with things as they're happening, you can only look at the top layer. You mm -hmm. can only look cursory at the at the network traffic. The result of that is um, is you really only understand what's really going on after something has happened and you're doing that deep forensics view. Right. Or you're making 
good algorithmic guesses, perhaps, on uh, on just looking you know, at the indicators and at the superficial view of, mm -hmm. the, of the network traffic, but then you're overburdening the workforce right. with with alerts, with false positives, with you know a bunch of incident response and a bunch of chasing around. Our big achievement was being able to do that deep forensics view of your entire internet experience fast enough to make a difference. So we can see the techniques, the things that make an adversary an adversary, where they hide, how they hide, the structure of their code, the stuff that you can only get in a forensics view, mm -hmm. we can see as it's happening. Yeah. I, I, I understand this in the sense that if this was a, a physical issue, there is the general uh, examination that leads to a more in-depth examination. Yeah. But what you're telling me is if you were my doctor in this case, you can do both at the same time. Yeah. And therefore get to the root of what my concern is or my issue is faster, diagnose it before it becomes too aggressive. Before it becomes a problem at all. Before, before it becomes a problem at all. Yeah. How has, if at all, has the county government or the state government been of any assistance? To oh, you? that's great. The, 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 the PG County team has been great to work with. Even from the first day we came here, they, they welcomed us in, uh, set us up with, you know, with different programs. Um, and, um, and that has continued. And then uh, you know, we became part of the Maryland uh, Tech Council and the PG County chapter for yes. it. Uh, so it's been, it's been a great ride. Excellent. Yeah. But what I wanted to understand is, so when you when you founded Trinity, mm -hmm. you had this idea, I want to be able to respond deep and fast. But you had not created that tool yet. No. All right. No, but I knew people, right? <laughs> and so, so, you know, one of the things that somebody taught me a long time ago was, um, you know, a good leader uh, doesn't have to know everything. Right. Uh, but has to know the right people that do. Yes. You know, right? Yes. Uh, and so I founded the company. Uh, I had some fantastic people join me mm. who have created uh, an amazing technology. So uh, does your technology really become part of the network? That's the idea. That's exactly it. It's again <laughs> part of the three. And so right. it becomes part of your internet experience. Right? So, so, you, so the other three aspect is the customer, their internet, yes. and us. Okay. How long did it take for you to develop this tool? We had a working proof of concept uh, in six months. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's an amazing team. Uh, did I say that? Yes, you <laughs> yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. And so I went from four people who were here in Maryland, who were mm -hmm. local to uh, this area, um, to now I have more than 50 people in 28 states. Uh, what is truly next for Trinity? We'll be doing a press release on this soon. You're now sitting in our world headquarters. World headquarters. World headquarters. Wow. Because we're expanding uh, to another country. When you first imagined this, yeah. did you see it going global? Uh, I did. Um, uh, it's one of it's one of it's a it's a it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. When I'm presented with a problem, um, I typically. And I think about a solution, uh, and I, I, I can see in my mind's eye, I can see the end state. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, getting there is always the, that's the challenge, but I can see the end state, and like, this is where we have to be. And so, where we have to be uh, to have the biggest impact uh, is in the very fabric of the internet. Mm -hmm. And so, for us to be in the very fabric of the internet, it naturally means uh, a global position. Absolutely. Yeah. Steve, I really appreciate your time, the education, and part of me actually feels a little safer now using the internet, so thank you for that. Thanks. We're going to make PG County a customer. I look forward to yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. I really enjoyed my time with Steve and learning a lot about Trinity Cyber. It's kind of special to know and also encouraging to know that there are companies out here keeping our information safe. That's a wonderful thing. Well, anyway, I hope you continue to follow us on PGC EDC. And remember, let's keep the business spotlight on. See you next time.